Immigrant stories began with a question. How can we preserve and share the experiences of the United States' most recent immigrants and refugees? At the Immigration History Research Center, we've been studying immigration for over 50 years. Our partner, the IHRC Archives, holds some of the largest and richest collections of immigrant and refugee life in all of North America. But the voices of recent immigrants and refugees are harder to find. This is more important than ever. Over the past few decades, the United States has been experiencing record levels of immigration. One in four Americans is either an immigrant or the child of immigrants. There are lots of news headlines about immigration, but most focus on policy debates that tend to inflame public opinion about immigration and its impact on American life. Where are the stories of individual immigrants and refugees? If they could share their stories, what would they say? We decided to find out. Hi, my name is Yan Nong, and this is my immigrant story. Moving to the United States has always been my dream. Matter of fact, it's a dream come true. My name is William Nyangun, and this is my immigration story. My name is Kim Castillo, and my immigrant story begins 28 years ago through my father. We began Immigrant Stories, a digital storytelling project, in 2013. We help immigrants, refugees, and their families create digital stories short multimedia videos with audio, images, sound, and text. In them, people tell their own stories in their own words. Our archives preserve these stories for the future and make them accessible to the public. We began with just four stories. Three years later, we had over 150 digital stories, representing more than 45 different groups. Our archive is a rich collection of personal narratives. They address a broad range of topics, including life as a refugee, why people come to the United States, maintaining family ties across international borders, and reflections on language, identity, and life in the United States. Immigrant stories have been viewed in classrooms, community workshops, conferences, and online. They have also been highlighted in major books and museum exhibits. We've made it easy to create a video and tell your story. We've provided simple training and shown people how to use free and inexpensive software. We developed free toolkits so that libraries, community organizations, college instructors, and ESL teachers can show others how to make their own digital stories. From 2015 through 2017, a grant from the National Endowment for the Humanities will allow us to expand immigrant stories across the United States. We're building a website where anyone can make a digital story, for free, and submit it to the archive. We're working with partner organizations across the country to test this website and collect stories in their communities. Together, we can create an archive that will reflect the diversity of U.S. immigration experiences. To view our stories and learn more about the project, visit our website and follow us on social media. Most importantly, consider sharing your story with us. What's your immigrant story?